Water. It's something that we take for granted here in the States. Just turn on the faucet and it's there. This is not the case in Volta Grande, a small mountainous village in Guatemala. The non-governmental organization, Dream Volunteers, presented Cabrillo Community College with a problem. The community of Volta Grande has limited access to water during the dry season, which harshly affects the lives of the community members and the function of the local school. The solution? A tank system that would tap into the existing distant spring system to draw and store water for public use. Additionally, there are opportunities to improve the school's rainwater catchment system, which was Cabrillo's project last year. Now the stage was set. The 15 chosen delegates of Cabrillo's Engineering Abroad program would be sent to Vuelta Grande to design and install this tank and spring system, as well as the new gutters and remote fill station that would improve the functionality of the rainwater catchment system. Excited and determined, their flight left on the night of Monday, December 29, 2014. So arriving at Guatemala, we took a red-eye flight, got there real early in the morning, we're all tired, groggy-eyed, didn't really matter though, I mean, get off the plane, you're so excited. It was super exciting showing up to the work site for the first time, we all piled out of the bus and ran around and checked out all the things we've seen pictures of. When we got to the location, we found that the spring box wasn't a spring box, the pipes were going every which direction, and there was a lot of work to do. We had to find out where the pipes were going, what direction the water was flowing, how their system worked. There was a spring box we had to clean and fix. We had to do work to our previous system and work with the existing community system, which was probably the most challenging part, was understanding their existing system and how to work with it, how to work with the community, and to have everybody approve of our work and to have everything understood. It was very important for us to source local parts, use local tools, and go to local hardware stores. I'm one of the few Spanish speakers as part of the Engineering Abroad team, so it was really important for me to come with the crew to the hardware store and try to figure out which exact parts we needed, what to call them, and translate that to the staff there. With the worksite assessed, our plan in place, and the supplies in our hands, we were eager to break ground. After dividing into teams, we started with the dirt work, grading the pad for the tanks and digging the trench for the remote fill station pipeline. Something that was really interesting on the trip was um, the teamwork, I mean everyone was saying like, oh we have to work as a team, that's going to be a big part of the trip. But um, when we got there it was a total like divide and conquer. It was amazing to see how much we actually got done between everyone else. When you, we came together at the end of the day on the bus we realized like how much we had done in that one day. I was a part of the spring box. We started taking out all of the sediment on the bottom of the tank. We took out all the dirty water, cleaned it. We redesigned their system so that it would store water more effectively and more cleanly, as well as it was an additional storage to the tanks that we set up. As a part of the gutter team, the existing supporting brackets were just a flat surface, and you put weight on it, it flexed down on the, uh, on the gutters, making it all wavy, and, and water would puddle up on certain areas. So what we had to do is design better brackets for it. And what we did is we actually used like a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle and we tried to emulate that in a bracket support system. As with the tanks and the gutters, the remote fill station also came to life, bringing fulfillment to the group as our three designs had now become one reality. It was great to overcome the difficulties we faced along the way and see the impact it had on the children and their happy attitudes that we were there working with the community. So I was lucky enough to be able to turn on the water spigot when we first connected all of the whole water system. So it was really amazing oh, to see that all come yeah. together after we worked so hard all week and to see the water actually filling up all the tanks. Just getting the chance to see that making a difference in the community's lives was a really big part of the trip. <laughs>